Hi, my name is Chris Martin. I'm a battalion chief with the South San Joaquin County Fire Authority. Uh, currently serve as the B-Shift Battalion overseeing seven uh, fire engine companies. Normally I'm uh, the shift supervisor of uh, approximately 22 firefighters that operate on six fire engines and one fire truck. And I oversee the day-to-day -day operations over a 48 hour period. So the uh, COVID-19 um, pandemic and uh, the subsequent lockdown has affected our job uh, in the fire service in several different ways. Um, traditionally, when we go into a medical type call, uh, say difficulty breathing, uh, we'll wear um, latex gloves, uh, simple eye protection, um, and that's really about it. Um, given that uh, the pandemic uh, with COVID-19 and uh, the possibility of transmission of the virus to our personnel, we've had to take extra steps. That includes eye protection and a face mask on all calls, um, a much heavier respirator uh, or mask that uh, we don't traditionally wear on most calls. Lastly, after every call, we're doing a heavier decontamination of any equipment that we use. Uh, so we've definitely ramped up the uh, personal protective equipment that we wear. So the city of Tracy in our county, I think has done a really good job uh, in preparing for this. It's, it's kind of difficult, like many counties around the nation, it's hard to prepare for something that you've never dealt with. I've been in the fire service for 27 years and we've never had to deal with a pandemic of this scale. Um, so there was a little bit of playing catch up like every other uh, emergency services organization or hospital. Um, but very early on, first and foremost, we made sure that we had our firefighters and protective equipment uh, for our own safety. Uh, and we were very concerned about cross contamination that we don't bring the virus back to our families or to another patient that we see later in the day. So my opinions about this whole thing, you know, it, it, I look at it from several different aspects. You know, I look at it as an emergency responder um, and obviously it's very concerning. Uh, I wanna make sure that my team of 20 plus firefighters is protected uh, and then they don't bring the virus home to their friends. But like everyone else, I'm also a citizen. So when I'm not at work uh, as what I consider an essential employee, I'm also on lockdown. So I also feel some of the struggles that probably everyone else feels uh, being on lockdown. Um, probably like everyone else, I'll be glad when it's over. I'll, I'll be glad to go back to a relatively normal lifestyle. And, um, and then certainly from uh, the fire service, I'll be glad when we can go back to normal calls, if that makes any sense. I've really been proud of the citizens of, of our community. They've uh, embraced the fire department uh, more than ever. And uh, it, it's nice to see that. And, um, but we in turn um, are very thankful to the citizens that the citizens have been partners with us and helping us by sheltering in place and um, using social distancing and um, limiting the spread of the virus. So we thank them as much as they thank us. Uh, and we're always proud to serve the citizens of our community.